So what can we learn from Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky? We can learn from what we are witnessing of the war between Russia and Ukraine so that when war comes knocking at our country's door, we're more equipped to handle the treacherous onslaught that a nation can impose upon another nation. What is the astounding takeaway that we can add to our understanding of war when it comes to presidents, prime ministers, all leaders in general? President Zelensky, from the beginning until now, demonstrates unwavering love and profound devotion to the people of Ukraine. He didn't flee in the face of death and destruction. He became even more committed to his purpose as executive and chief commander of Ukraine. He first began to strengthen and to comfort all Ukrainians, telling them that it is okay to fight even in the face of death for their nation to be free. He started to plead at, at, at every national door, day and night, for the lives of his people until he had the resolve that the nations would not be credited for the momentous bravery that he has displayed before us. Zelensky impressively demonstrated on March 12, 22, that he did not rule out the fact that God's power is a possibility for his Ukrainian people's victory. When he prayed this prayer, dear Lord, please let us win. Zelensky's love an intense devotion to Ukraine sends many present-day national leaders back to the seat of contemplation to question their true motivation as to why they were so eager to become president in the first place. I finish with this. Should we not value such far-reaching and historical declarations made by such a president in a time of whom we have not witnessed like this since many, many years.